$300 a month is a little chump change, I know. Yes, it is a little chump change, but what's up, YouTube? Today, I'm here to talk to you guys about how to make a little extra fast cash while you're at home or if you just have things laying around the house. Let's get straight into the video. This video is going to be talking about Facebook Marketplace and the app called OfferUp. I don't use eBay. I used to use eBay, but I don't like it anymore. It's limited. OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace, if you have things laying around the house, such as tools, gadgets, workout equipment, furniture. Furniture is a big thing. Electronics or any type of device. I'm telling you, these two places are where you want to go if you don't have them definitely go download the facebook marketplace you want to go get that app get facebook make an account think with facebook before you do any of these methods you have to make sure you have your facebook account i think it's for either 30 days or 90 days and you'll be able to post any single time you want so with facebook when you first start selling on the market you only can post once a day when you have your account for a certain amount of time then you can post 10 times a day 20 times a day on the marketplace so if you have an old facebook account you can use that or you can make a brand new one but if you do make a brand new Facebook account this will limit it to one day post a thing so if you have 30 items you can have to post one item every day for the month but offer up offer up you can just post right away now before you create these profiles make sure you have a legit picture of either yourself or your brand or whatever because a lot of people are scammers on these apps and when you go meet up with them or even if you ship something which I don't ship I, I locally meet up so this is just a disclaimer locally meet up can be a little bit more dangerous shipping is not dangerous at all definitely this is between either local which is much better my opinion or shipping which is safer in my opinion you make your profile and offer up and you can post whenever you want now i'm going to show you a few items that you can post people will buy them trust me i sold psh, about 18 items so far more than 18 but facebook i think i sold 18 on offer up i think i sold 10 you won't make crazy amount of money max i would say you can make a month if you go crazy 800 dollars maybe 800 but for average a month you can make about 300 bucks side money this is all side money i'm talking about lunch money or grocery money or even gas but all that let's get straight into the video and i'll show you some of the items you can just see they're all different items you have a fishing pole you have a headset a crowbar an entertainer you have a battery charger you have a workout dumbbell you have a vase with fake flowers and you also have a pull-up thing sorry so it's a sit-up thing so let's start with number one as you can see i brought this it's for kids it's not for adults i wasn't looking i just seen it on sale and i was like like, click 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 I brought it for 26 bucks off of Amazon I'm never gonna use this because I only need 10 pounds and I'm not a kid but somebody on Facebook marketplace believe it or not or even offer up will buy this item so in reality I paid $26 for this I can relist it for $20 if it doesn't sell in about 30 days I go to 15 15 is the lowest you maybe want to wait one or two months and then you can lower it down to 15 and the reason why you want to wait about three months to actually change the price the third time is because you got to actually wait it's a waiting game some people don't get paid so as you can see this item right here $26 and let's say I realistically I sold it for 15 I lost about 11 bucks it's not that bad but hey you made money now these dumbbells believe it or not people will pay for these dumbbells as you can see they're both 35 pounders let me just show you guys that 35 and i paid about 40 40 bucks for each so 80 i got it at walmart a person might say this see this i'm like i'm not paying 40 dollars for that cool it's second hand as you can see it's a little bit dirty on both of them so what you could do instead of posting it for 80 you would go on facebook marketplace or offer up you'll sell these realistically 60 dollars, 30 for both so you get 20 bucks off like i said if it doesn't sell in about a month you go down five dollars so you won't put 60 you'll put 55 you'll wait three months eh, it's not selling 45 ten dollars off so you paid 80 for it you get 45 back i know i know i know at least you used it i had these now for maybe two years so realistically it's not that bad i'm actually you know i used it for two years i got i got muscle from it why not now for this this is a setup i brought this online for about 11 bucks you're not gonna get a lot for this but trust me somebody will buy it I actually had somebody looking at this but she ended up saying no 11 bucks you know the deal you can sell this for five and if all honesty maybe three dollars but i would just keep it at five I had this for about two years. I still use it sometimes. It's not the best, but hey, we get this for five dollars compared to buying a brand new one for eleven dollars, and they both work the same. That's a killer deal. Now, Tronics. Electronics are a little bit different. Let me tell you why. I use this charger, and it actually did come with a charger, but it didn't come with the fat part. Like you see the white part right there, this part. It didn't come with that. So what I had to do was improvise, go to the dollar store and buy my own charger. You could sell electronics with the charger or not, but with the charger, you want to 
discount if you have one like mine. And the reason why I say you want to discount it if you have a one like mine because they won't feel comfortable if it doesn't have like a real legit charger. But you can show them that it actually works by plugging it in your car or if you know you have a portable little device with you, you can plug it in and show them and you make sure they test out the uh, audio and make sure the audio is all good. But with devices, a lot of people are picky, so be careful. Uh, I brought these, say $21. The charger, like I said, you want to knock it off. So, and realistically, I can probably sell this for 12 bucks. But a lot of people on the internet, they don't really carry ones like that. They usually carry five, 10, 15, uh, $20. So, you can get about $10 for this. I paid 21, but you know, the charger is not the best. Not the real charger, but it charges. It works. These, the headset, it works itself. $10 I can get from this. Now, battery charger. I brought a battery charger because I have an Xbox, and Xboxes, you need batteries. And I'm like, I'm not going to buy batteries every single all the week just so I can charge my controller so I got me a battery charger it works perfectly I use this it's just for example for the video if you actually have a battery charger and I actually have two boom so I use this one on the right as you can see it works both work actually both work 100% this one come with the charger I have a charger with it I just don't have it in the video right now <laughs> but if I had to sell one of these because I basically paid almost the same price about 20 21 dollars off Amazon for both if I had to sell both because both is about 42 dollars I would have to sell it for about 25 and the reason being the one on the left the charger so if you want to sell both 25 if I had to just sell one if I just had to sell this one by itself it would definitely probably just be about 20 bucks because of the charger you know after three months I'll go down to about 15 but these are actually pretty good they work very very well I mean you know you don't have to sell it with the batteries if you want that's how I said 25 at first but if you I wouldn't sell it with the batteries I would keep the batteries and now a vase a vase fake flowers I didn't really pay a lot for it probably what 15 bucks but usually an average person the most average sold a vase on the internet was about 15 bucks usually a vase I'm gonna be honest with you guys probably five ten bucks if you make more than 20 woohoo good for you but vases are usually <laughs> the elderly will come hey you know I like your vase can I have this vase and about five bucks this right here I think it's called a spinny or something a twizzler or so I, I did this back in middle school this was a hobby i could still do it today but i don't have really have a big backyard to do it every day or sometimes i'm busy so this is a toy get it for about 10 bucks five bucks if you sold this five bucks crowbar i paid about what was it 30 dollars for this and realistically you would get maybe 15 bucks back for it you know a guy might see uh it's dirty you know as you, if you get closer it's definitely dirty and i will say 15 dollars but if he wanted it for 10 i would sell it for 10 but basically that's what i'm trying to show you i was just trying to do little estimates of amounts that you can make on either offer up or facebook marketplace trust me i made 200 dollars a month 300 dollars a month it's a little chump change i know yes it is a little chump change but i'm just trying to show you have so many different items in your household you're not using on a regular basic and you probably don't care about half of the items in your household you can sell furniture but you got to make sure the furniture is clean sturdy and no bugs in it like people will legit examine like the whole thing i remember one time i sold a sofa for dollars the french couple fresh from canada they're cool the lady sat in it bounced in it like this for a few times the guy sat in it bounced in it for a few times and then she picked it up with one hand it wasn't a big sofa and she picked it up look under it and was like okay good gave me the 40 dollars, and that was it some people if they actually see that it's dirty not sturdy and or has bugs they would not take it they'll leave you right on the spot and you as a seller you can't get mad because you should have did your research and make sure everything is good and go it's about customer service on this like i said i sell locally i do not ship because shipping is just like too much have a hassle and local i live in a pretty big town i mean you know the population is not small so i just sell locally but i just wanted to show you guys a few ways how to make money you can use other apps i'm pretty sure there's a lot of other apps out there facebook and offer up because those are the best places to make the most money when it comes to local business and you can sell anything i'm telling you you can now when i say sell anything you cannot sell weapons like a gun you cannot sell weapons like a big machete you cannot sell sexual items etc like that you do not want to sell why would you want that because these people can actually leave reports on your profile of how your customer service was were you on time were you a good person um was the item good so you got to make sure your customer service is 100 percent legit and affection and neat and be careful what you sell because some things that you sell you can get in trouble for and you can get your account banned and you don't want to sell on your business account and that's where all your income is coming from and you get banned because you post something wasn't supposed so do more research on it on facebook and offer up because it's two different places you got to follow rules like rules are important so make sure you follow rules and make some money just make some money out there i just hope i hope this video helped somebody if it did help you i appreciate it share your stories below if you made money if you didn't make money if you had bad or good experiences and uh stay humble stay safe stay positive peace out